guys, it is that panda guy, and I'm here again with another video, and there is some stuff I just want to talk about, and you know, um, this was Pompeii, I do have some other Pompeii videos I will hopefully be posting throughout the week, because I haven't been able to do them since I was actually working on all my island raid videos, I do have plans to hopefully actually schedule uploads throughout the week, that is my plan, so you know, even while I'm doing island, I will have a bunch of videos already pre-recorded, hopefully, that I can have pumping out during that week so you guys are still entertained and still just have something to watch if you guys do just enjoy my channel and do just you know keeping an eye on that stuff so now we are hopping into this and i'll just talk about what happened so last uh Pompeii, we actually lost and we were fighting orc and orc is actually really organized really strong alliance but basically i took in one of their strategies which was insta rallying the opponent's helipad which is honestly a really good strategy i don't know why i didn't think of it think of it earlier but honestly it is really smart and i just think these guys definitely outclassed us last island but honestly we ended up doing that and i sent a regro and peterson marsh and this was just so i could tank long enough to actually port in because i knew this alliance didn't have anybody strong enough to actually kind of push us out of helipad in enough time even if they set a rally even if they swarmed it they just didn't have anybody strong enough to really do that we just put up enough pressure and you know we had a good million plus troops in the helipad and you know the peterson would just keep it healing forever so in general this was just a honey trap <laughs> but um you know i did i will say i've been having issues with my pc and i think the issue is every time i open up island or sorry not island pompeii i notice that when it starts i get hit with super big lag but right after you know it starts and we're finally in there you know if i do reset my pc for example join on all my accounts boom the lag isn't there it's not as bad and i'm not crashing or anything but every time you know pompeii starts i end up having like some insane lag so i'm trying to figure out how to get around that maybe i'll just um <clears throat> restart like instantly uh open my computer and then join Pompeii. I don't know how I'll try that, but I will be trying to figure out ways to avoid the lag. I will say there's a new Doomsday client actually uploaded by the devs. I'm not, you know, that isn't like blue stacks or anything. So that is very interesting. And maybe that could be a pretty good way to actually avoid that because I heard that people who use, for example, if someone used four accounts and it was running almost 100% of their PC, I hear that it dropped their, you know, RAM and their CPU to around 20%. So running with that will be silky smooth. The only thing I can see them like until I, the thing is I can't do that until they find a way to actually, um, just i feel the big issue is like you're not able to adjust the size of the window so that's like the big issue but in general this you know was pretty interesting pompeii um hopefully the the client i'm really looking forward to that i saw dev in discord that is really encouraging to the game and its growth and possibly the game just really caring about growing but yeah that is enough blabber and you know more pompeii pompeii this pompeii i will say we honestly didn't have a lot of fights over like buildings or anything i didn't really care to reinforce them since i knew like no offense to this alliance but we went in like with 3 billion combat power these guys went in with like 1.5 billion in general they were just vastly outnumbered vastly outmited and we just had stronger core players who even if we did have to play defensive we would have easily ended up overwhelming them and that's just the truth right so in general we didn't really care much about playing defensive and i instantly went for their bases i noticed some people were sending their marches across the map so instead of just you know playing safe you know rallying all the bases whatever i decided this would be the best time to swarm milk as many troops as possible fill their hospitals and basically push them out and i did send a rider rally at this dude who was like 90 million and then i swarmed the rest down with like my alts and i think maybe someone else was over here i think lrg or something kind of joined us but you guys get the point we smacked these bases out of this helipad and then we worked down to the other helipad and honestly i was quite surprised i had been swarming bases for a good 30 minutes or so at the area and you know i'd even been tapping bases with alts to keep burning their like bases and the thing is none of their bases would bop out of there it was so strange none of their bases would move i would just keep swarming them keep swarming them keep swarming them and just i don't know i the thing is bases burn way faster in pompeii if you don't know so you, the only way to avoid burning like super fast it's instantly extinguishing the fire on your wall meaning that these guys had to be burning through hundreds if not thousands of gems just to stay on helipad which makes zero sense when you have no troops in your base right and that had to be ev almost every player who was on this helipad because i kept hitting them kept hitting them and they just weren't they weren't moving they weren't budging and at some point i was just like these guys are out of troops i'm out of here and honestly i'm actually quite surprised because i thought these guys 
healed way more troops than they actually healed. From what I saw, you know, these guys were putting up a lot of combat power and their bases were just holding out for so long. So I honestly thought these guys had, um, I, I, I honestly, I thought these guys were just, it was so weird because I thought these guys were defending or whatever, uh, or sorry, healing just a mad amount and i was like these guys are stupid these guys are crazy but they weren't actually healing a lot of troops they only healed a million overall so these guys probably just had a lot of troops to you know kill off since it is a region 4 alliance as well so it's definitely much older alliance has been able to build up troops over a longer period of time but at some point we did burn these guys out and it did take a while, that is for sure. And we do we do just swarm these bases for the rest of the video, as well as hold them in their um, home zone. So there isn't a lot of interesting stuff that's going to happen. Just a lot of base swarms. Eventually, we get up to this 80 million dude, Sir, G Sir Jeffrey. Honestly, I got to give it to them. They did try their best. They did try to put up a fight. I think the only thing these guys really could have done better was, I think, honestly, I think they worked pretty well in the, maybe the, um, operation base in the top you know area over here but in general they just were overpowered and you know i think the the most they could have done was defend better they weren't doing the best with garrison captains i noticed that uh like i i don't know i think for example i swarmed one of the garrisons earlier they were using lee and not even a strong player if i remember right a lot of other structures they just had weaker players holding his garrison captain i feel this is like the one of the biggest issues that people always face when going into pompeii or even island defending like towers or something it's just a matter of finding proper garrison leaders as well as captains in general because even if you have a strong leader holding a tower or something you know you want them to have good actual heroes in there instead of like peter or something defending which is insane if you're defending with peter but I, did, I do see that sometimes. I see people defend with Lee. And I mean, Lee is a better choice than a lot of the heroes that you could choose. But in general, Lee isn't like the biggest damage dealer. He's not really great for swarms. You know, if you're getting like a tower or just an outpost or whatever swarmed, it's not the best. But yeah. I don't know. I kind of wanted to just blabber about that. This video probably will come to an end very soon. I will just have reports at the end of the video. And you guys can sit in silence and enjoy those if you like. Or leave the video. It's whatever you like but i ended up just closing my accounts i will have a pc video up as well i you know like i said i was kind of lagging and i was actually behind because i came in and i had already been lagging i had thrown my troops out late and honestly i feel lately i've been a little bit less coordinated maybe it's just i don't know maybe it's just a lot of mistakes i've been making lately but i definitely made some mistakes on my pc i was very slow i feel this island you guys would see me pause a lot, though that was also because I was controlling my phone. I do try to make sure I get a good amount of recording for you guys, so you guys are entertained. But yeah, that is basically how it is. Um, I do end up closing my accounts, though, so okay, you guys, if you do want to check out that PC video, you will be able to see just what I was doing, how, I don't know, my on my PC or whatever. I honestly should be putting my alts in another, uh, kind of a shell alliance, so I can actually start earning, you know, um points off them because i'm only able to actually run seven accounts consecutively and then i have three extra accounts that are just sitting in home home region and just not getting any rewards which is kind of sucky for them but yeah i don't really i feel like i'm just blabbing at this point i will give it to cozy these guys did keep this kind of interesting you know i thought this would be kind of a steamroll when you really consider that we were two times their combat rating i will say obviously you know it was like you know 70k points to 5.6k so in in a sense it was a steamroll but in general i did have a lot of fun these guys were still putting up some fighting i i also will say that these guys could have done way better i think their biggest issue might have been like coordination right they were sending like one march at a time or maybe three marches from the same person instead of coordinating and trying to like combine into a murder ball they would just let each of their marches get swarmed one by one taking really bad trades here and they could have probably made like a jailbreak right we were kind of jailing them into their home zone if they had people all try to you know get their marches together just run us out they could have probably pushed us off but either way i do appreciate you guys for watching and this is the end of the video you guys can look at these reports if you like if not you guys can just go but yeah i do appreciate you guys as always you guys make my days pretty amazing and i just enjoy doing these videos for you guys so you guys thank you and have a good day or night peace out